Hey guys, this is Game Boy Luke here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Y Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the previous episode, we finally made it to the second gym, and well, we made it to the second gym in the episode before, um, but we finally defeated the second gym in the last episode, and was able to collect our second gym badge, as well as doing some grinding, so we did get all the Pokemon leveled up in the previous episode as well, so we're looking at like, sort of like, low to mid 30s right now, which is pretty good for this stage in the game. We did, I think we defeated the Lucario gym trainer as well at the end of the last episode, so I think what we have to do now is head east. I think we're about to scoop up a whole bunch of uh, encounters as well, because what we do is go through the cave and then there's the route before the cave. Uh, so we have uh, the possibility of catching two new Pokemon, two new randomized Pokemon. We have a timer ball actually, which is um, super useful, because if you didn't know, timer balls uh, increase their strength or their encounter chances the more turns that pass. So basically it's the Pokeball you use last, because you throw all your normal Pokeballs and eventually all you have left is this timer, timer ball. And um, yeah, it's gonna... Nine times out of ten, I feel like timer ball is one of the best ones to have, because you can have... Um, like Ultra Balls, Great Balls, Pokeballs, and once you rinse through all those, you have the Timer Balls left, and they do—they only get stronger with each cap, with, like, with with each ball, because every single turn they get stronger. So, but I, well, I think I wouldn't say in terms of like design or anything that they're my favorite Pokeball or anything. I think Luxury Ball has to be my favorite Pokeball, but I think the Luxury Ball is like the favorite of a lot of people. I don't know why. Because um, I guess because it's black. I don't know most black objects. Mixed with like yellow or blue usually look pretty cool. Like most of my favorite shinies are, are the color black. So, like I I think like Rayquaza and Lucario and stuff like that. You like smooth stones? Okay, cool. Okay, sure. Um, but in terms of Pokemon, I think the Lurble. I think I like the Lurble. I like the Moon Ball a lot. Like I, you don't see that Pokemon often at all. I like the Moon Ball a lot. I have a lot of time for that Moon Ball. I think the question of the day for this video is more than likely gonna be based around. Pokeballs now just because I started I opened, I opened the video with it But we are here Wow, I forgot Mime Jr. is actually Psychic Fairy. I could have Metal Clawed that thing I could have Metal Clawed that thing. So right now Preparing videos as you can tell recorded Pokemon Y because I'm going to uh, Insomnia this weekend uh, Which I'm really excited about because I was it wasn't long ago that I was at um, I, was, I was in Birmingham for EGX now I'm going there for Insomnia 56, which is not something I would expect myself to go to because I'm pretty sure it's mainly for just competitive gamers and stuff But I did get invited there by um, Some people and I was just like, you know what screw it I, I kind of want to go to more conventions because it allows me to be able to branch out and you know socialize more because I'm a bit of a, sometimes I can I feel like I can be quite a, a bit of a, a re, of a what's the word I'm looking for of a recluse I just don't like going out sometimes. I prefer to just stay in and do my thing, I guess. I don't know if anyone else is like that. Um, but sometimes I just like to do my thing and just chill, you know? Sometimes there are those days where you're just like, do I want to face the world today? No, I'm just gonna sit indoors and play me some Pokemon. But I don't know, I kind of, I am excited because I do like meeting people. There are other like streamers and YouTubers that I'm gonna be able to meet as well, which is always really exciting. I like, I, I sometimes I like meeting, like I said, sometimes I like meeting people and sometimes I don't, it's weird. Um, but I guess if they're, if we're all, if I, I don't know, I reckon it's just gonna be a really good, really good weekend. I got, I got a good feeling about it. I got a good feeling about it, so. That's the thing. That is a thing. So, what Pokemon can we find in this grass? Yo, I took a lot of damage and I was just talking and didn't even realize how much damage we took right there. Let me, let me go ahead and heal up Flick real quick because, you know, Flick real quick. Hashtag, hashtag any toodle bars. Just... Just, let me just heal you real quick and uh, let's see what we can find Let's see what we can find. I would love to get Yuxi again or like another legendary Pokemon because I feel like oh we have a horde That's a that's an interesting horde you know, out of all of these Pokemon, the one I think I, the one I want is actually Remoraid. Because I love Octillery. Like, Octillery is a great Pokemon. And if anything does happen to Poliwell Touch on Wood, or Knock on Wood rather, 
Um, then we have Remoraid and Octillery to fall back on. It's just me. I love I love Octillery. I think Octillery is great. It's one of those Pokemon. Like I, I was talking about this in the last episode. Like Electabuzz, Magma, Pokemon you didn't see very often. Remoraid was one of those Pokemon you didn't see as well because you could only catch it in like one place. And it was kind of rare. So, and and I, none of the trainers had Octillery. There's like one trainer that had an Octillery. So Octillery is one of those Pokemon that no one really knew about. But in all honesty, I am a uh, am a big fan of Octillery. He looks like a beach ball. He looks like a beach ball. So we're gonna catch this Remoraid. And the best thing about it is, I mentioned this in other uh, series as well, but like, Remoraid, uh, or Artillery rather, learns all kinds of moves. Like I have, I don't know if we'd have the TM for Bullet Seed, because it's not a TM in this game. I'm thinking about another game, but pretty sure Artillery can learn Bullet Seed, Psybeam, Flamethrower, like how? How do you learn Flamethrower? How does a water type, a pure water type Pokemon that is an octopus. There's Psybeam right there, as an example. How does that learn Flamethrower? It doesn't make any sense, but I love it. <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. Like, I love the fact how random it is, you know? It's just like, it's like the people at Game Freak were just like, all right, Octillery, we need to think of moves. Hmm, let's give, it, let's give him a, a signature move. Let's give him the move. Octazooka. Sounds like a really great move. It's not, it's not, it's not a good move. Not a good move at all. So it's like, I think my move set. If we gave Remoraid Psybeam, I guess we were going to make this a psychic type Pokemon. They've all into Octillery and they're like, you know what? Just fucking go crazy with this Pokemon. Give it whatever you want to give it. Yo, how about we give this Pokemon Flamethrower? But Terry, he's a, he's a war type. Exactly. And then, and then he's just like, yo, it's a great idea. I, 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 I see where you're going with this. I like, I like how you're bending. Can we hit a fucking move right now? God damn it. Confused? Nope. He's just like, yeah, that's a great idea. I, I, I like the way you think. Giving a water type move, a water type Pokemon, a fire type move. Sounds like a great idea. 100% agree with you. Oh my god, are you serious? Why? Durant, you've been in, your accuracy's been reduced by two stages. It's, I mean, he's squinting. Look at his eyes. His eyes look sore as fuck. I just hate switching out because it takes so long to. Come on, Cheshire, you don't have to, sh you don't have to show him how it's done. Because Durant is clearly having a bit of trouble right here. You know what? Actually, wait. Wait a second. Okay, so... I know a lot of people in the comment section over the last couple weeks have been like, Luke, why don't you catch a Pokemon that has Sweet Scent? And a lot of the Pokemon I could have caught, like the... Who was it? I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure it was Marwile people were saying you should have caught. Because it has Sweet Scent. Now I just looked up its moveset and apparently Tropius gets uh, Sweet Scent at level 21. So as much as I would like the artillery, we did use him in my ex egglock so I think what we're going to do is I'm going to dispose of you. And we're going to catch the Tropius just for Sweet Scent. Just for Sweet Scent. Because I know you guys have been saying, you know, we were lucky to get a Horde Encounter this time around. We were lucky to get a Horde Encounter this time around, but it'd be nice if we could have a Pokemon that we could pull out whenever we needed to. Just go ahead and sweet scent for us. Can we stop missing? I said I was gonna evolve horns in this episode as well, didn't I? Whoops. Come on! What is going? I haven't even been sand attacked. That's three misses. Four misses. Four misses. There we go. That there, there we go. And this is why hypnosis isn't a competitive move because it misses so much. I think I've been quite lucky with Hypnos over the last um, however many episodes or so. It's, it's like got 60% chance or 55 or something. That's so stupid. Most sleep inducing moves always miss apart from like Spore. That's the only move that has 100% chance to, 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 to put someone to sleep. Unless they're a grass type of course. Finally we have, we have Tropius right here. 
Mmm, have a tropius. What do we call a tropius? Now there's always like little foot. Could call him banana neck. Um, I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna call him Loom. Cause you know there's those jumpers or you can get, get t-shirts that are called Fruit of the Loom. I don't know. I just I I, I have no idea. But anyways, I'm gonna keep him on the team because I want to get him to level 21 so that we can get sweet scent on him. His solar power. It's an adamant nature. Welp! There's no grass type moves that you learn that are physical. So that's kind of useless, but at the same time it's fine because we can, um... But he's just here to get Sweet Scent because we have experience here, so eventually he should level up, get Sweet Scent, and then the next grass area we enter, boom! Horde encounters for days. Horde encounters for days. But, obviously that's not over because we do have another area. Do we have cut? Hollow Clip received! Ah, wee oui, wee! Oui. Hello there, looks like you've always made it to Shallow City. That's fantastic. It looks like your journey with the Pokemon on Kakalos region is going swimmingly. I wanted to tell you about a person in Shallow who knows a great deal about Mega Evolution. People call him the Mega Evolution Guru. I've told everyone else about him, so if you have a second, you should give him a visit. I will do, Sycamore. But on that note, where the freak is the King's Rock? Where is XYU? King's Rock. -u. Um. X and Y, we get it from Lumio's city. What? We get it from Lumio's? From Lissandra Cafe. Oh yeah, we do get it from there, I remember now. Okay, so we don't get it for a while. We don't get it for a while, but that's fine. Did I pick up cut? I feel like I didn't pick up cut. I didn't pick up cut. I'm stupid. I missed out on cut. Can you heal me up? Nice about these guys. You know, I actually feel like in a uh, long time ago in the X1 lock, I feel like I lost someone here. Oh. 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 That's not good. Uh, let's get rid of this course. Let's just get this thing out of the way. Let me get... Oh, God. Uh, Boralis, because you can freeze-dry Palkia. Freeze-dry it. Yo, look at Palkia's feet. What the hell? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, let me just get rid of this course. Though. That didn't do enough. Yo, we got the citrus berry. We ate this... Why not defense rise? Aqua Tail, holy fuck! Okay, that thing Aqua Tail, my ass. Uh. Uh. I need to get rid of this Corsola before I do anything so we can double team this Palkia, but, um. Let's go to Lips. I think Lips might be a um, Pokemon to go to right now. Yo, Palkia is scary. Let's get Bug Bite, let's get this Bug Bite on the go. One more, one more. Aquatel, right, we can take that, we can take that. Yeah, it does too much. That does a lot of damage. Okay, so let's go ahead, Bug Bite the Corsola again. And I guess we can Hypnosis this Palkia. Alright, get rid of this thing. Let's get this thing out of the way, okay. Whew. Okay, next. Are we faster? Are we faster? That's the question. Is Poliwell faster? Is Poliwell faster than a Palkia? Experience for days. Yeah, put him to sleep. Can I park here? All right. Okay. Cool. Stage two. I would, you know, what I'm gonna do actually, I think, is just attack normally with this guy, and we should heal up. We should definitely heal up uh, Boralis, and then come back in and freeze dry it. Please tell me you're holding like an attack berry or something. Nope, still asleep. Okay. Okay. I honestly think that we these guys can probably take care of him on their own. And what did we say? What was Litz's stats? I think I'm pretty sure he was adamant nature, so that we wouldn't evolve him into Politoed. He was a modest or timid nature, something like that. Nice damage. Almost. He woke up, Dragon Claw! No, 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 no. 
They had Lucky Chan on as well. They had Lucky Chan on. They had Lucky Chan on. We could have died. Okay, safe. We didn't lose Pokemon. So these trainers again. I like how I say that and we encounter a freaking Palkia. Jesus Christ. No chill. Titlock gained some levels as well. Morales gained levels. Cheshire grew level 36. Loon grew level 12. Level 13. One more. Jesus Christ. Okay, so let's just shimmy back down here. Let's just go back to the Pokemon Center because we need healing items now. But Palki is clearly a threat as, as perfectly displayed in front of your screens just then. Palkia is definitely a Pokemon you don't want to run into. <laughs> Especially at this kind of level, like, shit. Okay, so let's go, um, should I high potions now? I'm high sweet potions, I'm living life on the edge right now. And if we do encounter a legendary Pokemon, I'm gonna want to be prepared, so. It's by 33 Great Balls. Swag! I just want to make sure that if we do, if we do encounter another legendary, that we actually have the, the a chance to catch it. We have two Pokemon that learn Hypnosis. Unfortunately, I would like to have a Pokemon that has False Swipe. Um, we'll have to find a TM at some point, because I'm pretty sure one of our, at least one of our Pokemon should be able to learn that move. Durant, maybe? I would very much appreciate a False Swipe, because we can put them to sleep, and we can False Swipe them, and bam. Bam, bam, bam. Perfect. You know, one thing I wish we could have done with this game is randomize the, um, the ground items. I don't think that option is available right yet, right, right now. This is our second horde. Oh my god! We could have had a Mew! Oh, that sucks! Oh my god, we found a Mew and a Palkia in the same episode. And we could have had the chance of catching the Palkia. No, the Mew even. Oh, dude. On your no. I made my feels. I love Mew so much. For those of you that have been in the channel for long enough, you know I love Mew. You know I absolutely adore me. Oh, that sucks. That, that really, that's upset me. That's really upset me. I don't even want to walk in there right now because what I want to do... Oh, we could have had a Mew. We could have had a Mew. Because what I want to do is I want to level up this Tropius to have Sweet Scent. Because I don't want to miss out. I do not want to miss out on getting a legendary Pokemon in that cave if the Horde encounters have them, you know? Damage. And you killed yourself. Good job, Herdia. Because how much experience does that thing need to level up? If I'm switch training him in and out, then surely he should level up pretty damn quick. Eighty-six experience, so I'm assuming he needs like six hundred or so to evolve, uh, to evolve, to level up each time. Because I know there's a trainer over here, so let's fight him. Hey, yo, B, what's going on? How did you get up there? How did you even get up there? You were. F <laughs> this is a sky battle. How do you have a? Oh, oh. This, this person has a shallows in the sky. Yo, if I didn't have Haunter, I would've been screwed. That's hilarious. That's so weird. That's so weird seeing the shell off. Just like, hey, I'm just chilling in the air. It's no biggie. No big deal. Get out of here, Shellos. Haunter luckily can float, so we have Haunter in the sky. Then we level 14. Well, I would switch out and get some experience, but that's a Mewtwo. So I, I more than like, you know, I expect that to kill me in one hit. So let's just get the experience for that one and be on our way, yeah? Level 15, okay, cool. And a, and a, 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 a 
a clan pearl. You know what, this Pokemon isn't even worth switching out to get experience for. Let me just let me just shout it for you. Straight out of Mewtwo! We've we've seen all kinds of power in this episode already. We've seen all kinds of power. Damn son. Give me that badge, give me that badge, give me that goddamn badge, badge. Wrecked! Okay, so we need seven more levels. I don't think we're gonna get seven more levels before we enter this cave. Actually, it probably it looks like it needs like a thousand per level, so screw it. Screw it! I tried, I tried, and now I give up. You just get experience. You just get shared experience. Can't be dealing with any of those shenanigans. All right, give me that horde again. Give me that horde again, then give me a shiny Mew. That'd be so. <gasps> this is the bad horde. This is the bad horde. Man, we could have a Mew! I would have- I, I want you guys to know, I would have I'm absolutely crazy. I would have probably screamed like a little girl if we found Mew. And we were able to catch it. I would have been so happy. So happy. So much happiness just disappears. In the blink of an eye! She has a gloom. Glam, glam! Uh You see it's saliva? It fell in the air and ooh, That's not right. Gloom. Gl can you please sort that shit out? Oh my god. Oh my god, just that's what it is. That's what you need to do. That's what you need to just fix that situation. Barrage good love the the level 16. Boom! Five more levels. To tell you the truth, I'm I'm not even sure if this place is real. <laughs> this is fucking real. Okay, so where do we go? I know there's a TM somewhere in this cave. Yo, battle me. Battle me, Shady. Battle me, B. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yo, mysterious sisters, Hedvig. Oh god, a ditto. Oh god, a ditto. Look at his face. <laughs> his stupid face. Um, probably should switch out. Probably should switch out so that this thing doesn't transform into me. But YOLO. Bing. Durant versus Durant, the ultimate battle. Oh, you clever little bitch. Slow me down, so now I'm the slower Durant. Well, goodbye. You know, I wish the experience reflected the Pokemon it transformed into rather than the Pokemon it was before, you know? Yo, Cheshire's gaining levels right now. No, King was actually a scary Pokemon because its physical defense is absolutely stupid. I'm pretty sure its special attack is abysmal though, so it should be good. Yo, that's kind of scary. Look at this. That did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. Uh, let's go to... Go to Baratton. Mm, he's using Bowl Beam. Let's go to, let's go to Lips. Let's go to Lips. Lips, this sounds like a job for Lips. Even though he has no Lips, it sounds like a job for Lips. Get him. Looks too happy. I wish we had Water Absorb. I really wish we had Water Absorb, to be honest. Um, I'm wondering what uh, Politoed's ability is though. I know he has Drizzle, but is that his, is that his hidden ability? Is that his hidden ability? No, he has wa oh no, he has water absorb damp. So we're gonna get damp. So what we kind of want to do is get our hands on an ability capsule, if at all possible. That's not doing a lot of damage. He has it as well. That's gross. We're both reducing each other's speed. I want to try body slamming it. How, will a how much would a body slam do? Jesus Christ, that's insane. I'm telling you, that's that's absolutely insane. Kingler's defense is crazy. Underrated Pokemon. All right. You are a scary Pokemon to deal with. We have no special attackers. I mean, we could have brought out Haunter, but it's just unnecessary experience, really. Flick gain level, awesome. And Loon, four more levels till we get Sweet Scent. Challenge Storm. All right. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll teach it to you. I'll teach it to you because you may probably need it if we decide to use you in the future. Actually, we need a Pokemon with Fly as well, so this could be our Fly Slave. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. Alright. 
Oh, she has a hyper potion. Thank you. So kind of you. I appreciate that. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Super potion. Bloop. Bloop. We still haven't encountered anything in the in this cave yet. Anyone want to come out and play or nah? Whoa. This music sounds so British. Na 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 na. All right. Garçon. How do you pronounce that? What is that little squig one underneath the sea? That garçon or garçon? I don't know. I don't know. And people. Hey, blah, 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 blah. Apom. Apom! Dead. You look too happy. Stop smiling. Yo, he. Yo. <laughs> that animation was great. <laughs> animation was great. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. I hate being tickled. Like, when I was a kid, my dad's friend used to come. I used to be like. Well, my dad's. Scary Pokemon alert. My dad's friend used to, um. Always come over when he used to come over. When he used to come over, he always used to tickle me. And it wouldn't be just tickling. It would be tickling to you couldn't make you, you know you laugh so much you just don't make noise. It's just grunts and breathing. That's what that was me. He would tickle me so much that eventually it was just. That was it. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. I was gasping. I was just gasping for air whilst he was just destroying me. It was tickling the shit out of me. I just I can, bad memories. So anyone tickles me, I literally I have this like. Anti -defen defense system. As soon as someone touches me in a place where I'm ticklish, I'm just like, Ink! leave me alone. This guy is a Gudra and a freaking Haxorus. Rain dance. Rain dance? I don't know if this is gonna kill because Gudra's bulky as fuck, but. Wow. <laughs> it's got a red card. What the hell? Those aren't loom. It's got a red card. That's awesome. <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here, Gudra. Gudra the referee. It's like, no, get out of here. I'm sending you off. Get left back in the changing rooms. Flick is now level 35. Avalanche? No, you ain't no physical attacker. Calm down. Calm down with that shit. Level 18. Three more levels. If we can avoid trainers, actually, we might. I might do that. I might do that. I might just spray a repel. Because we're so close to being level 21 and we can get like a sweet, uh, sweet scent encounter in here instead. Never mind, I don't have any repels. Ignore me! Uh, let's go this way. Let's go this way. You heal Pokemon, right? Thank you. Thank you, Yodesu. Uh, where should we go? Down? Baby, are you down? Nope. First encounter! It's a bear tick. It's a bear tick. It's a darn doodly toodle fruiting bear tick. See, now I actually knew that wasn't gonna kill. I knew that a bug bite wouldn't kill this thing, right? I knew that. I knew that. So let's go for a great ball. I don't wanna waste my timer ball. It's only been like one turn. I'm telling you, the time ball's gonna come in clutch. I'm calling it right now in this episode. R write that down. Got a bit of paper? Scribble that down for me. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be super useful at some point. We'll find like a Mew, my dream will come true. And then... We'll catch it. I was trying to make that rhyme again, but it didn't work. I need to catch this thing. Come on, dude. What is this? Brine? Why, why, do, you, why do you know Brine? Why do you know Brine? I don't understand. This bear takes up red health. Can you catch already? What is this catch rate? I feel like I should put it to sleep. Never mind. Never mind. This catch rate is 7.8. It's not that bad. Boop. So we now have a bear tick. Ah. Ah. Okay, so what should we call this thing? Oh, I know what I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. Has to be called Bronx. Has to be called Bronx. The Bronx Bear Ticks. So the only problem is now with walking around this place is that I have no repels, so I hope the encounter rate doesn't increase. Um, but I think this is a good place ever to stop. 
we are currently walking through the cave and hopefully in the next episode we should get through and hopefully the Tropia should be level 21. We should have Sweet Scent. I might even grind between episodes actually, I might just get to level 21 between episodes just to save us time. Um, actually, I say that, but I probably won't. I'm bad at keeping promises like that, so. I didn't even promise it, but <laughs> whatever. I'm gonna end this episode here. If you have enjoyed, please do go ahead and consider clicking that like button down below. It's greatly appreciated. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next episode.